What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, giving you the full breakdown for the up and coming week. This week we get the final live stream for the Into the Light reveal. We see the return of two exotic missions, three new Crucible maps, and also a brand new PvE mode called Pantheon. Alongside that stream we have a full breakdown of Iron Banner on all the up and coming weekly rituals, so be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below, and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Another week and another this week in Destiny. This is week 19 of Season of the Wish and this week we see the third and final live stream for the Into the Light reveal. Last week they pulled back the curtain on the brave weapons and all the rewards you can earn as part of this massive April update. This week we get to see the return of two exotic missions, a preview of the three up and coming new crucible maps that will be launching in May and on top of that we'll also be seeing a brand new PvE mode called Pantheon. Now when it comes to the exotic mission, it's highly likely we'll see the return of the Whisper mission as we do have an unused exotic weapon ornament in the form of the Gilded Cage. This is available from Eververse, exists in the database but isn't currently available in the game. Out of the exotic missions that are not currently in Destiny 2 right now, which ones would you like to see? Be sure to sound off down in the comments below. Now if you have been watching these live streams you can earn two emblems on Twitch just by watching. If you end up watching a total of one hour across all three streams you'll earn those held dear and for anyone that's able to clock up three hours of watch time you'll earn that Echo Diamond emblem. These are exclusive to the Into the Light reveal streams so be sure to tune in and find out about the future of Destiny whilst also earning an awesome emblem. Now this week we'll also see the return of Iron Banner prior to the launch of Into the Light. Now upon the return of this Crucible event, we also have a brand new weapon that will be obtainable in the form of the Tusk of the Boar. This is a kinetic strand grenade launcher that is wave frame. So if you're looking for a lime flavored forbearance, then make sure to jump into Iron Banner upon this week's weekly reset in order to grind it out and pick it up. Now next up, we're gonna move on to the featured challenge for the Crota's End Raid. This comes in the form of Conservation of Energy, and takes place over the Abyss Encounter. Now to get this one done, Guardians must alternate between depositing the Chalice of Light in the podiums and also enlightening the lamp. This challenge is all about timing and very clear communication. And if you and your team can pull this one off, you'll gain access to an additional raid chest and that all important bonus raid loot. Now speaking of raids, this moves us on to the featured raid and dungeon content for the week. The featured raid for week 19 is the Vow of the Disciple. Now this launched all the way back in the Witch Queen. And as the featured raid, all the challenges will be available. So if you still don't have a crafted forbearance, cataclysmic, or even a submission, then this week will be the week to do it. And on top of that, if you don't have the conditional finality, which is the exclusive exotic pulse rifle only available from this raid, then you can also farm Rolk the final boss, which will make it a perfect opportunity to fill out all your raid collection. Now, as for the dungeon, this week sees Prophecy return as the featured dungeon. Now, whilst it might seem Prophecy was very recently in rotation, this was a result of a manual bungee change at the beginning of March. But with the return of Prophecy once again, it's another opportunity to earn the updated weapons. And much like the raid, as it is featured, it will be farmable for the week. So much like the Vow of the Disciple, be sure to add the Prophecy on your list of things to do this week prior to the launch of Into the Light on the 9th of April. Now next we're going to move on to the featured exotic mission rotator and the featured mission for this week is Operation Seraph's Shield. Now you will need to either own the Witch Queen or Season of the Seraph in order to access it but if you do then you'll have another chance to get your hands on the Revision Zero, the craftable exotic pulse rifle and if you've already picked that one up you'll also be able to pick up weapons and armor from Season of the Seraph as well. That includes the Fire and Forget, Tripwire Canary, Disparity, Path of Least Resistance, Judgment of Kelgaroth, and the Retrofit Escapade. And alongside those Serith weapons, the Ikelos weapons are also available, including the Hand Cannon, the Shotgun, the Sniper Rifle, and the infamous SMG. 
and if it's armor that you're chasing then the war mines avatar armor set will also be available so if you are missing any of these items they can drop as normal or deep site resonance versions and these can drop during the course of the activity or upon activity completion now from here we're going to move on to the dares of eternity and the 30th anniversary pack activity alongside the scatterhorn armor set from forsaken we see the prefector armor set available from season of the chosen and as always with chosen armor we do have the chosen weapons available too including the scaife lock extraordinary rendition brass attacks threaded needle the cojuelo imperial needle far future honor's edge distant tumulus the interference shepherd's watch and the annual skate hand cannon and much like the featured exotic mission, these can drop during the course of Dares of Eternity upon completion or by handing in strange coins over at the Star Horse over in the Treasure Horde. Now next up, we're going to move on to the weekly rituals and we have a returning Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall for week 19. This comes in the form of the Psyops Battleground over on the Cosmodrome. Now this is seen as one of the trickier ones in the rotation, but if you and your fire team can equip Polaris Lance and maybe even have one Invis Hunter, then you can trivialize the final boss, making this a much easier Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall to complete. Now with the introduction of new Nightfall exclusive weapons, and with there being more weapons than Nightfalls, we are still currently working out the rotation for the updated loot pool. So with that being said, what weapon would you like to see as the featured weapon this week? Be sure to sound off down in the comments below. Now next up, we're going to move on to the Crucible and the featured Crucible rotators for the up and coming week is Clash alongside Elimination. Now with Trials of Osiris on hiatus due to the return of Iron Banner, we will also see bonus Crucible ranks all week long. So whether you're jumping to Clash, Elimination to practice for the return of Trials next week, or even grinding Iron Banner throughout the course of the week to get your hands on the new Grenade Launcher, then you'll earn bonus ranks across the board. So be sure to make the most of that prior to the launch of Into the Light. Now to round us out, we're going to move on to the Lost Sector calendar. This week kicks off over in the Concealed Void and we'll be offering exotic boots. On Wednesday, you can head over to the Thriller Drone for a chance at exotic gauntlets. On Thursday, the Guided Precept is back, offering exotic chess pieces, with the Scavengers then being available on Friday, giving you a chance for exotic helmets. On Saturday, the Sky Dock will be available, offering exotic boots, and you can round out the weekend over in the Quarry on Sunday, which will be offering exotic gauntlets. And to complete the week, Aphelion's Rest will be available over in the Dreaming City, and this will be offering exotic chess pieces. So if you are missing any exotics from your collections, then be sure to plan your week accordingly. And as well as the exotic armor, they can also drop a world drop weapons that are non-craftable. And as always, if you want to check out this calendar in full for yourself, make sure to do so over in Today in Destiny, and I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. So there we have it guys a good look on everything that you can expect for week 19 of season of the wish if you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more destiny 2 content and if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with destiny 2 then be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to be to the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon